Hello, I'm Maria from Rich and Simple Living and um, my channel covers homeschooling, homesteading and home life. So today's a bit of home life because I'm finally going to show you how the air fryer works if I do it properly. I've not used it so I'm not sure how to use it but we're going to have a look as we go along. Just simply going to do some chips, something basic and easy to do. I'm afraid the light's going a little bit. I could put the kitchen light on, I suppose it might help, I don't know, but we'll see as we go. So I'm going to swing you around and just show you what's happening. So I've made my own chips. I've chipped them already. Um, the recipe says that you soak them in water to get rid of the starch. Well, when I peel chips, I put them in water anyway. So they've been in there for about an hour or two. Then what I've got to do is put them in a tea towel to dry them off and put a bit of oil in. If you want oil, you rub it in and put it into the air fryer. So we'll see how it goes anyway. We'll go find a space now because, look, <coughs> no room. There's the air fryer. I think actually I might put the light on, see if that helps. Well, it helps a bit, doesn't it? So there's the air fryer all ready can't get the light at all and um, we'll see if we can find some space on the side here somewhere and try and dry the chips off okay so he's tipped the chips into the bowl he's putting them onto the tea towel says so you can use um, paper towel in all tea towel I thought the paper towel gets wet it just rips anyway doesn't it so if you just dry them a bit and we'll pop them back into this bowl Fortunately, there's no room in this kitchen really to see to do anything. No room at all. <laughs> so we just dry them a bit, put them in there. And then I'm going to get a bit of um, virgin olive oil just to rub in. Never done it for us, all trial and error. I mean, if we look at the book. air fryer i don't know if you can see that cooking times and whatnot but all it says is cook time 25 minutes so i'm not sure what it's going to do i'm not sure how i time the cooking times or anything um at the moment nothing's showing on the panel so nothing's on there except the blue light for on so i'm presuming when I switch that blue light on everything will light up and then I can have a look what we need to do so we'll just finish drying these chips and the lights catching drying the chips and um, just sprinkle a bit of olive oil on now the recipe I've seen says it's optional for that but um, a lot of people have googled this a lot have <laughs> said to put a bit of oil in it because it is better to do that because it gives them that um crispier edge taste to <laughs> whatever you call it <laughs> so he's putting them back in there okay. not used to filming like this there's no daylight left and there's not much uh, room in the kitchen oh my so it looks like i've got this job to do uh, i'll swing you around while i do this then so I'll just sprinkle a little bit, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to put too much because we don't want it covered in oil, but enough maybe to take it through. Any trouble is, there's not a lot of room for me to spread it through very well, but I can feel it going, I can feel it slipping through, so I think that might be enough to do it yeah it feels quite slippy through now so oh, I've lost, lost one that's going in the bin I've lost it uh, I think that'll do it actually it all feels coated I'm going to have to wash me greasy hands now um, <laughs> Cassie come out very greasy now. So 
So then only put a little bit in and the grease of it soon spreads through. Right, you dry my hands and then um, swing around so we'll press this button. Oh yes, right. I think I might have to swap my glasses actually because I need reading glasses for this. I can just see lots of blue things, right. Oh, so grill is flashing, but I presume we do the air fryer. Do we have to fill it first before we set it all off? I presume, won't we? We better do that first. Oh yeah, inside of it, it's got like a griddle thing as well, which is for cooking meat. So all the fat drains through and there's like um, a little drawer at the bottom that catches all that, that you can pull out and empty. <laughs> I think he's in a bit of stress, it's crooked. <laughs> so that sits in. And we empty the chips in there. There is a mark on it that says maximum somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is. Are we in? Is it in? I want to tip it upside down and fall on the dog's head. <laughs> Cassie's waiting there. Oh, so we've got maximum. So it um, contains quite a lot then. It'll hold a lot. The thing is, I cook really big chunky chips. Will we get them all in? Yeah, That's pretty good going then, isn't it? So we'll pop it in and then we'll have a look at the settings. Okay, try again then. Press the button again. So we want the air fry button um 30 minutes what did the instructions say in the book about 25 minutes was it, was it? so which button do i press now than this one shall i press this one shall we go for it no i've turned it off <laughs> there we are thing <laughs> maybe that one then Oh yeah, now it's doing something. So let's see, it's so 30 minutes and the thing says 25, but bearing in mind that I've cut up big chunky chips, maybe that'll be okay. So I'm gonna leave that. It does say to stop it halfway through. So when it gets to about 15 minutes, I'm gonna stop it and you have to give it a shake and then put it back in again. So we'll come back and see what they turn out like in half an hour's time. So we've got a minute left. Then we'll take it out and shake it. Ah, oh, there we go. So we'll press the pause. Oh, it's quite heavy to shake. Do you think you can shake it, Dean? <laughs> well, it's quite heavy. But as you can see, they're starting to cook on top. Oh, what a steam. You got it? Right. Starting to cook on top and brown on top. It's amazes me how it browns on top when there's sort of no flame or anything there we'll press and pause again so it should set back off from the 15 and we'll leave it now i mean it was looking quite brown some of them so i just hope that they don't burn on top so we'll have a look at them when they're done in 15 minutes time so it's just turned off and I'll get Dean to pull the tray out and we'll have a look. Oh, nice and brown. Look at them. Nice and brown. So they looked well cooked anyway. Some of them do. What do you mean some of them do? Well cooked to me. Oh we've steamed up, we can't see. <laughs> steamed up so we'll leave it at that we've given it a whirl whether we'll take to it or not I don't know you know it's a lot of putting things in and putting things out and we'll see how it goes one thing I might try and do in it is stir fries when we get vegetables in the summer and chop them up small I might try stir fries in it and see how that does 
got to give it a bit of a go with everything and see what happens so as to whether i keep using it or you know everybody raves about them but at the moment i'm, I'm not quite sure why but we shall just see we shall see how it goes it's the first attempt at the moment so we'll leave it at that for now and i shall catch you sometime next week so take care and have a good weekend bye